Kal Halalium La Yahawo Bahasham Shal Yahawo Shai Bahar Kakodash, which is ancient Paleo Hebrew for all praises to Yahawo, the Heavenly Father's only name, which can only be uttered in Hebrew, with the word of which calls Jah, Jehovah, etc. In the name of Yahweh Shai, who the world calls Jesus Yeshua, etc., and whose name also must be um, mentioned or said in the ancient Hebrew, you know, it should be displayed on my screen right there. The Hebrew characters, um, Paleo Hebrew, in the Holy Spirit, which is a wisdom and understanding of these holy scriptures, the Holy Bible, all right? Um, Double honest the apostles and elders of great millstone and salutation to the sincere Akim that's pushing the truth to the holy scriptures and fearing sincerity and truth. You know, Shalom Akim, stay up, stay strong. I right, just came back from, you know, doing the works with the brothers, prophesying and whatnot. You know, I'm a bit tired, but, you know, it's great on me to bring on this lesson now, so it's lucky if I might seem a little sluggish around, but let's get into it. You know, pray that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh strengthen me, you know, to complete this lesson. Um, so, and I was on YouTube a while back, and I was watching, I was watching a few videos, and, you know, I like, I like watching Sanam comedy and whatnot, and see some, some things that Jake would say. Um, this guy is alright, but, you know, he crossed the line. In the first video I saw he crossed the line, and, you know, I'm gonna do a lesson on it. Um... Interesting, his name is Preacher Lawson. It's in like a preacher, and you know, I guess he's gonna harp on that and try to be funny about it. But you know, let, let's let's get into this lesson here. All right, let's go, and I'll play the clip, and then we'll cut this nigga because that's what he is—a nigga. Just just look, just look at the video. <laughs> Look how he entered the stage or also, you know, like like a, a full a full bugged out retard gay weirdo, you know. I mean I know you're trying to be I know you I know you know making people laugh is your thing, but you know. Anyway. That's <laughs> Hello, how you doing? What's your name, please? Uh, my name is Preacher Lawson. I love that. And how old are you? Uh, I'm 25. I'll turn 26 in... Lawson. <laughs> Interesting. In two hours. He's young enough to be with me. Are you single, married? A clung tire. I have a girlfriend. You have a girlfriend? She's dope. Yeah. And what do you do for a living? I'm a stand-up comedian, which means I'm unemployed and I do stand-up on the side. <laughs> All right, best of luck. All right. Uh, I got a motorcycle. I don't like telling people I have a motorcycle because every time I tell someone, they always got to tell me a story about how their friends crashed on a motorcycle. You know, like, why do people have to be so negative? I don't go up to pregnant women telling them my dad left. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so annoying. So annoying. I walked at my apartment one time, right? I walked at my apartment and my neighbor walked up to me. She was like, oh my God, you got a motorcycle? Are you stars? Are you stars? You better be careful. I got in a car wreck the other day. My car flipped eight times. I'm looking to be laugh, blessed, right? Yeah. She black, by the way. <laughs> Everyone around us was like, you know, that was, that is crazy that your car flipped eight times. You alive, you are blessed, you know? And I'm, I'm over here thinking, who the heck counted, right? Like. Who's that calm when their car's flipping in the air? Ah! One! Like, who's doing that? My name is Preacher. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. That's, That's it. it. That's no. We need more. We need more. That's too short. Preacher, can I have just one more joke? <laughs> All right. Uh... I don't feel safe driving with my grandma because she's really spiritual. She loved the Lord to the point where she's not afraid of dying. So I don't like that, all right? <laughs> I don't like being in a car with someone that's not afraid of death, okay? Like, she got that attitude like, if I die, I'm going to heaven, so it don't matter. <laughs> I'm like, it does matter because I'm in the car, okay? <laughs> Unless she's a heathen. 
This is how spiritual my grandma is. If I got shot in the chest with a gun eight times, instead of her calling the ambulance, she would get on her knees praying like, please, Lord Jesus, I get these eight demons outside my grandbaby's chest. Let the bullets rise up and part ways from his chest like Moses in the Red Sea. Yes, Lord. I let the blessings rain down. Yes, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Lil John 316. And there it is. He said Lil John 316. This ain't no fucking joke, bro. And I'm bringing, and through the spirit, I'm bringing all this lesson to because that fool, um, um, what's the damn name? Yeah, Vocab Malone said something like that the Apostle, Apostle Gabar, Elder Apostle Gabar brought it out. You know, we did a lesson whereby, um, Vocab Malone commented on something about, you know, his whack, something about his lyrics coming from Tupac 316. Now this idiot saying Lil John 316. This ain't no joke, bro. That's why the scripture says that evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse. Evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse. This ain't no joke. All right? You think this is all fun and games? You think the most I word is, is something for you? Anyway. Let's get into it, all right? This is Proverbs chapter 10 and verse 9. He that walketh uprightly walketh truly, but he that perverteth his ways shall be known. He will, he's no, as in the Most High will reveal those that pervert, pervert their own ways and the Most High ways. Most High is going to put them out, all right? He's going to, going to, going to, going to let it be known who are the wicked in this, in this kingdom and who are the righteous. That's why the scripture says in Revelation, let the righteous be righteous still and let the wicked be wicked still roughly paraphrasing all right let's get to the next precept because it's just perverts you know perverts in, in in spiritually and this ain't no joke this is jeremiah chapter 23 verse 36 the burden of yahweh shall shall ye mention no more and what and it says burden here right and when you go into that word that's h4 the age 53 and that's ma sha Masha ah. That's lucky if I you know if I'm if I mispronounce that word. Alright. It says load bearing, tribute, burden, lifting, alright? It says utterance. Alright? The things that we the things that we utter. The things that we teach. It's lucky. It's lucky. I'm a bit a bit uh, gassy today. Alright. It says the burden of Yahweh shall ye mention no more. Alright? For and that's how they see us correcting them as a burden. For every man's word, for every man's word shall be his burden. For ye have perverted the words of the living power of Yahweh of hosts, our power. All right, that's what they're doing. They're perverting the words. This ain't no game, bro. The most high word is not to be messed with on no levels. All right, it says she hath changed my jump uh, through the spirit. I'm gonna go through it. All right. Um. Yeah, let me read the verse at the top for this one here. It's Ezekiel chapter five and verse five. Thus saith the Hawa power, "This is Jerusalem. I have set it in the midst. I have set it in the midst of the nations and and countries that are round about her." Right, talking about Israel. She hath changed my judgments into wickedness more than the nations, and my statutes more than the countries. That are round about her, for they have refused my judgments and my statutes. They have not walked in them. Now clearly, he have refused it because he would have he would have taken great pride in Yahweh Hashem and not said some bullshit like um, Little John three sixteen. This ain't no fucking joke, bro. And it and they're mocking the men of the Lord. I know because the men of the Lord are 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 are, are fighting um, principalities and darkness, and we're known in the streets, and they they they're gonna. They're gonna, they're gonna come up with these things to say like they on par with us or what we saying, what we saying has no merit, no weight, all right? But the Most High is gonna reveal, reveal those that pervert, pervert his ways. They shall be known, all right? This is uh, Jude, chapter one of verse four. Well, there's only one chapter, but you know, you get the point. For there are certain men crept in on the ways who who were before of old ordained to this condemnation he could have he could be ordained because he's blaspheming the most high word you know i don't think i don't think i don't think i don't know if there's any there's forgiveness for that i don't want to i don't know if this was considered as um 
to blaspheme in the Holy Spirit, all right? Well, this is not a joke, man. I'm I'm greatly offended by this. All right? And by the clung vocab Malone. But he's a damn heathen. Can't expect any better vocab Malone. Now, he could be a heathen for all we know. All right? But, nah. Nah, he's not a heathen. He, you know, Jake got salt. He got, he got, you know, he got, um, Style and the way he, you know he does his thing. He's got some alright jokes or whatnot outside of this blasphemy thing. All right, now let me read out, read again. Slakia it says, "For they are certain men crept in unawares who were before of old ordained this condemnation, ungodly men turning the grace of our power into lavishness. This is grace. The Most High graced us with His word. The Most High graced us with Son and Son. Graced us with with, with even." Grace with mercy. Lucky most I did a lot of people lucky most I strike them on spot. Alright. And when you go to that word grace is G seven six six and it says as leg as leg as legia as leg as or whatever. It says unbridled loss, excess, lavishness, lasciviousness, wantonness, outrageousness, shamelessness, insolence. Alright, he's shameless. He ain't got no shame in you got no shame in, in blaspheming your how about shame your shite word like that? Come on, man. And denying the only, only, um, only Yahweh power and our other one, Yahweh Shai, Yamashiach. All right? This ain't no game, bro. This ain't no game. Let me just check this thing real quick. Certification. Okay. Let's check it. All right? This is Psalms 138 verse 2. And this is showing the most I serious about his word. It says, I will worship. I will worship toward thy holy temple and praise thy name for thy loving kindness and for thy truth. All right. That's what we're supposed to be doing. Thou hast magnified thy word above thy name. And if the most high word is above your name. And you messing around and you fucking around up. You, 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 you want to try to defile the most high word by saying little John. Little fucking John. Little John, it says, this is Matthew chapter 12 and verse 36. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. All right? He will give account for these same idle words. That's why his scripture says, keep thy foot when you come to the, come to the, um, Come to the house of Yahweh, roughly paraphrasing, right? In um, Ecclesiastes 5 and 1. All right. And this, you know, this is the ice, none cake. And this same precept in Revelation, it was mentioned in uh, Deuteronomy 4 and Proverbs 30, I believe. Yeah. And, you know, this is very serious. This is very serious. This is not a, this is not a joke. All right. So, Israel, watch yourself. Watch your mouth. It says, um, Let's start from verse 18. This is Revelation chapter 2, verse 18. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the pro of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, the most I shall add unto him plagues that are written therein in this book. He's adding unto the scriptures. Alright? And if any man take away from the words of this book, of the pro of this prophecy, the most I shall take away his part out of the book of life, out of the holy city, and from the things which are written therein in this book. I, I just read both both these verses for edification. Don't take or add to the most I word. Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Alright? This is deadly serious, man. And he's gonna get a dread a dreaded judgment for that. Alright, and with that, I pray that this lesson was already fine. We want to give our praise to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahavakakadash. Peace and salutations. Double honors to the apostles and elder great no storm. Peace and salutations to you, Shalom, Brakatam, Makiamia.